Okay, everybody, we're going to calculate this. You see how this pin here goes into one and two and three? Pin one, pin two, pin three. This is the new version of it. And I checked other videos on YouTube. You don't need the 100 capacitor, uh, 100k, 100, um, the 100k capacitor that goes in this. But probably for the older versions, yes. But this new version, I got this in the mail just yesterday. And I looked up YouTube videos how to calibrate this from other YouTubers. This one, you don't need to put the 100k resistor in. Uh, capacitor on it. It already has its setup, its settings. They see this pin is actually right. This one I pulled off one of my um desolder from one of my boards I did. This one's already soldered between the both pins together. It's already has it. So it'll show you in a second and you guys will see this. This is the newer version you'll see. And you don't need the 100k uh, capacitor to put on it at the end of the part half of the um, the sequel of the calibration. So watch this. See? Watch what happens. Let me pull this out. And that's how I'll do it. And I'm going to show you some capacitors will work. No, nope. got to move that over there. Two hundred twenty-four microfarads. Watch this one with light bulbs. It could do LED light bulbs like this. You guys are going to like this. One point nine three volts. Pretty cool. But also, you could guys put a piece of wire in this. And I want to get some probes for this real soon for this. Which I had took some wires last night and I put it hooked up to these capacitors, like things on my electronic boards. They actually could read them. Nice. Watch this. That's almost a thousand interference. Okay, let's try this again. So, I'm gonna let you guys go. This is Foxman 362 World Radio. Just wanna show you about the calibration on this device. So you don't need a capacitor like the other videos have, but this is the newest version. So catch you later, we'll bring out some videos real time soon. Yeah.